Take the pictures. Take the pictures. Take the pictures. Take the pictures. Amen. Amen. You're not going to come in my space. I feel threatened. Amen. 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 Welcome back to the Biblical Conservative Channel. We'll come against the anti-God, anti-human, anti-biblical spirit that is looking to prevail in this land. Remember, we're not victims. We are empowered for greatness. Please be sure to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell. So Bishop Lamore Whitehead is back in the news again. You know, the flashy bishop from New York, who claimed he was robbed about a month or so ago. Well, in a latest service, Bishop Lamore Whitehead was preaching about Leah, by his church being Leah. And this woman caused a disruption. Now, I don't condone anything like that. That's not how the house of the Lord, that's not how a church should be run. There should be people there defending him because despite what you may think of him, he is operating in the office of a pastor. Despite what people may say about his qualifications or the legitimacy of his ministry, he's still operating in the office of a pastor. And that office deserves respect. People now are taking shots at him or trying to get famous just by causing disruptions in his church. So this woman, who I don't know if it was set up or not, interrupted the service and came up front. And Bishop Whitehead, after praying in tongues for a little bit, just went ahead and laid hands on her to get her out to service. Preaches about Leah as prosperity, it doesn't look good. They said Leah was tender eyed. Some people called her cross eyed. Some people called her ugly. Some people called her all type of different things. But Leah was a blessing. Amen? Because as we move forward, we're going to see that Leah gave birth to many of the leaders of the 12 tribes of Israel. Without Leah, there would not be no 12 tribes of Israel. But we beat up on what we don't understand. All we hear is Leah with tender eyes. All we hear is Bishop Whitehead is a liar. All we hear is Apostle Chief Apostle Bishop Whitehead is a scammer. All we hear is that leaders of tomorrow is going to fall. Listen, we are a church called Leah. They snapshot and are shooting right now. They screen recording right now. They are, watch this, sharing one another right now. Amen? Amen? All right. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Y'all good? Amen. Huh? Let them, let them go for All right, we're going to pause right here. Amen. We're going to pause right here. We're going to pause right here, right? We're going to pause right here. All right, yep. Yes, Lord. 
Yes, look, come on up. You want to come preach? You want to come preach? You want to come preach? Come on up here. Come on up here. Yeah, come on up here. Come on up here. I'm going to make you famous. Come on up here. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let's pray in the spirit, y'all. Glory to God. Now remove her out of here. Now move her out of here. Move her out of here. Amen. Come on, let's give Jesus a round of applause, y'all. Hey, yes, Lord. Let's give Jesus a round of applause. Let's give Jesus a round of applause. Let's give Jesus a round of applause. Now let's give Jesus a round of applause. While they take pictures and they want to be on social media, take the pictures. 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 condone that at all like I said there should have been somebody there to usher her out of the service out of the church before she even had a chance to come up it was a scene she was looking to cause a scene period she was looking to cause a scene and that's what it did it caused his name to get back in the headlines and this woman received her 10-15 seconds of fame that's not how we in the body of Christ should operate. That's not how we should operate. We are not victims. We are empowered for greatness. We're supposed to set the standard. And Peter talks about judgment starting in the house of the Lord. We must make sure we set the standard. We must make sure that we are presented harmless and blameless in the midst of a wicked and perverse generation. We must set that standard. And because we are not victims, we are in power for greatness. People will try us. We don't always get it right. We may mess up, but God is faithful. He will restore us. We confess our sins. He's faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and cleanse us of our unrighteousness. He will restore us. But we must have order in the church. Paul writes about order in the church. There has to be order in the church. You can't just have people getting up, speaking when they feel led, or getting up and speaking when they feel the spirit move. There are rules. There's protocols. There are things that must be done in the church. So Bishop Lamore Whitehead lay hands on this woman to get her out of the service. It should never gotten to this point. But again, when you run a service, when you run a church that is based on sensationalism and hyperbole, you get people that are looking to take advantage of that situation. We are not victims. We are empowered for greatness. Thank you so much for liking your comments and subscribing to the channel. Please share this with your friends. Smash that like button. Smash the subscription bell. Share this with everybody you know. We're trying to make sure people understand that they're not victims. That they are empowered for greatness. And all this stuff that's out here that's telling them otherwise is false and will not benefit them in the end. So please, I appreciate that. Share that.